Hey, this is Scott from York Photo Video. Today we've got something a little bit different. Um, this is a Pearl Midtown, and I'm gonna, I just got this, it's brand new, and I'm gonna show you kind of the unboxing and how to put it together real quick. Um, real quick about equipment, we've got some different equipment we're using today, trying to combat the fact that we're in a studio with a giant air conditioning unit that we can't turn off. Obviously not mine. When I get mine, it's gonna be awesome, and I won't have that issue. Um, we're using a Canon ADD to film. We've got a Movo mic system that we're using, um, wireless, and I don't know, how's it sound? All right, I'm here with uh, Melissa, who's helping me out. And again, this is the Pearl Midtown. It's poplar shells. When you get it out of the box, which obviously we already took a little bit out of the box, the heads actually come out first. Just kind of nice. Um, you get two heads. You get the, uh, the batter for the top side and the clear for the other side. I think that's the bottom um, for one of the toms. And then you get the snare. The snare came like this, and it's already put together. Snares are assembled. It probably just needs to be tuned up. I'd say so. This is really cool. Actually, I already put this in my pocket. You get this cool little bag. Can you zoom in on that? Can you see that, guys, pretty well? Yeah? All right, so you get this, and then oh, there's your drum key. Pretty cool. Um, I almost want to keep that, but I already have one, so it's fine. The hoops are actually already on, and they've got these little, I don't know, rubber things that are supposed to protect it during shipping or whatever. You're going to want to unscrew all of those and take those off. I already did that part. And there you go. There's one that's still on there. Oh, it also came in. Let's go through a couple other things that it came with that are right on top. There's the, uh, these are the, the lugs for the bass drum, which I haven't even seen yet. The stand for the bass drum, because this is a smaller kit, so you actually need it raised up and you need a place to put the pedal. Uh, tom mount, because it's a four-piece kit, so I think there's just one tom mount. And then, of course, uh, floor tom legs, and that's what we've got. So that's so far what we've taken out of the box. Sorry, I didn't actually start this with opening the box. I got, we got too excited, I guess. Um, that's how it goes. So I already took off one of the hoops and went ahead and took it off all the way, put the clear side on it, and tried to kind of just make it even. Uh, I, everybody has a different way of tuning drums. What I do is just try to make everything even at first, so I'm going to show you the process on the batter side real quick. I'm looking for the batter side, I believe, of the four tom. I think this one comes with the clear on the bottoms and battered on top. And this looks like it's for the bass drum because it's obviously bigger than this. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go further into the box and see if we can find the head for this one because I don't see it here. Okay, so this was actually inside here. And it's kind of an engineering masterpiece as they put these things together and ship them. We actually had a bunch of cardboard around it. Here's a picture of it. And I just kind of tore everything out looking for stuff. I try to save everything. I don't throw anything away. And we pull this off. But I'm still looking for one more drum head, I think. Unless the floor tom is clear, in which case that's the one that we have here. And it might be. But I'm going to pull everything else out of here just so I make sure what else I've got. So here's my bass drum hoop. Is that cool? And, oh, look at that. So you can see the, what is this, red sparkle finish that we've got. You have two different choices with this drum kit. And now that I've seen the red, because I thought it was going to be closer to maroon, I don't know. I don't know if I would get that one or not. I was supposed to buy this kit, but now it's here at work, so I'm not going to. All right, so this is obviously our bass drum, which is super cool. I'm going to unwrap that. Sorry about all the noise. We have, oh, and inside we have the tom, and it's all put together. So I'm not worried about the tom heads at all. Interesting the way that they did this. More cardboard, cardboard, cardboard. There's our bass drum, and it looks like the tom heads are clear, which means that other head definitely is the one that we want. I wasn't sure. I was pretty sure, but you know. And finally, the last ba bass drum hoop. And now that we have everything, uh, let's get started on putting the other toms together. When I was unboxing it first, I saw that the bass drum head was battered, and I was kind of wondering if that was going to be how the rest of them were, but it looks like the toms are all clear. So you have to make sure that you put the right head on the right side. And in this case, um, we've got the Pearl logo on the outside really big, um, but that's a battered head. And we've got a Pearl logo really small, and that's a clear head. And typically, I would put clear. This is pretty thick, um, reinforced. I would put this on the, on the bass drum side um, facing you. I would use that for striking. So 
I think they just wanted to have a battered head on the outside because it looks cool. So let's take a look at these. There's nothing to really indicate one way or another, but usually one of these is thinner. And I may have done this backwards. So I'm gonna probably take the other one off and try that again, just to make sure that I got the right ones. Okay, I'll be honest, this, uh, I don't know that this head is any different than this head. Um, I was looking for, there should be a difference. There should be one that's a little bit thicker, especially if you're using like power strokes or something like that that are really nice. But I'm gonna use the heads that came with it just because uh, I don't have to buy anything else and that's what we're using right now and I wanna see how it kinda works. But I don't feel any difference. And looking at the little one, the little Tom, um, these feel exactly the same. It comes pretty much pre-tuned. I mean, that's pretty tight. The mount is already on it. If you look at the logo, you can tell that this is the top. That's the bottom. Maybe a little bit different. Uh, your top head should be tuned higher than your bottom head. So we're probably gonna have to do something with that, but it's pretty tight. And this is their OptiLock mounting system, which I think needs to be tightened up as well. It comes with directions for it, directions on how to actually take this off. I just wanna make sure, so I'm gonna go and back off of this real quick. And this will be nice because you can see what I already did, what you missed. Uh, you have to unscrew all of these in order to get the, the rim off because the heads don't come on it. These are the two clear heads. There is nothing to distinguish one from the other and I think they're identical. Yeah, I just wanted to double check. I don't typically want to have two identical heads. That's what happens when you use the ones that are free. I try to line things up so I take the, the logo, the pro logo, and I will line it up with the badge. The badge on this one, as you can see, is upside down, which means I'm looking at the bottom right now. And that's fine. Take the hoop off. Make sure that we seat this right, and it looks okay. Okay, so what a lot of people will do is they'll take the, the pearl symbol here and try to make sure it's lined up to one of the lugs. Um, since this is on the bottom, I don't really think it matters to line it up with the badge. If you line it up with one of the lugs, then you'll know that that's the one that you started with. That's the idea. Then I'm gonna take the tension rods and I'm just gonna hand tighten them all the way down. All the way down until I can just feel the tension is even. And it's the, it's as far as I can tighten it with my hand and feel that it's ready to be tightened with the wrench or the drum key. Try to make sure that they're really even you can see that some of the, the head is a little bit bubbled up, and that's fine right now because we're gonna take care of that. I'm gonna start at the badge, grab my pearl drum key, and I'm just gonna go one turn opposite. Um, uh, they're all pretty good. I don't need this one to be really tight because I'm not hitting it. I'm gonna do like a, one little quarter turn more. And I think this is supposed to be the floor tom, so that's probably about right. I'm gonna flip it over, do the same on this side. Now my badge is right side up, so I know that this is the top. I'm gonna line it up with one of the lugs. I'm lining up the Pearl logo right there with one of the lugs. So I know that's where I started when I'm tuning. I wonder if they did that with the snare drum. Here's my snare drum, let's see. Uh, there's the snare drum and no, see they, li they lined it up with the badge. There's the badge for the Pearl Midtown. They put it right with it. Came pre-tuned but not very good. There we go, get all of our lugs lined up and our tension rods in the lugs and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna tighten these down until you can feel that they're no longer kind of free moving. 
don't know a better way to say that. Is there a better way to say that? So you can feel that they're tight with your hand, I guess. And you just try to make sure that they're the same all the way around. Can you hear that tightening? Now that you've watched me do this, do you feel like you could do it? Yeah? That would be cool. Okay, all of them are tight by my hand. And I'm gonna start right at the badge. Not even, I'm gonna do it one more time. Starting at the top. That's as much as I'm gonna do right now. Um, there's one little thing here, so I'm gonna go through that one. This one I feel like too. Trying to get that bubble out right there. This is probably gonna have to sit um, for a bit. And as you play it, you're gonna have to retune it again, but that's our floor tom. All right, here we are with the bass drum. And I mean, you do have a choice, I suppose. These are very similar heads. This one just has a batter on it. Uh, typically, we put the batter on the outside, so this is the front of the drum. I'm gonna save this for the back side. I don't know why I thought this came with a pedal. <laughs> it does not. This is just the shell pack. You need all of your cymbals and hardware I'm gonna make sure that this is lined up right. So here's our badge right here. And this is the mount for the bass drum so you can put your pedal on it. So I think I'm backwards again, right? Cause that's, the, that's the, the part we want for us. So that's the badge that should be on the front. Let's do the front first. Um, spurs are all wrapped up nice and it does come with something to protect it. So I'm gonna flip this over. This is our bass drum pedal mount, and this one is our tom mount on top. So it's gonna go this way, and I'm just gonna try to eyeball it as best I can. I don't know, what do you think? How's that look? Uh, these are the hoops. It's really cool to have a brand new bass drum. Oh, that's different, look at that. Okay, so now we have to figure out, um, is that the front or the back? Is that to allow for, so there's a flat side on this and there's a rounded side. The flat side goes against the drum head. The question is, is that for the bass drum pedal? This is the first time I've done a kit like this, so it's a little bit different. And if it is, then that probably is gonna go on the other side, right? This one is solid, so I'm gonna guess that that's for this side. And that's just so that we could get the bass drum pedal to sit in there, I think. Um, it's a little bit different because this is a raised bass drum, so I think that's the way to go. The wood just feels so cool because it's brand new. I'm going to get that as lined up as I can. What do you think? Melissa says it's fine. And I've got my spurs right here. These aren't spurs. These are uh, lug tension rods, and they're just going to go right in here. So same thing. These are really nice, too. They're actually rubber coated. I feel like that's the difference you get with Pearl. Uh, especially in their, their better drums. This drum set, I think, is going for like 600 bucks right now, brand new. And I'll be honest, I kind of want one. Even though this one isn't mine, I feel like it'd be cool to have one. This is definitely cooler than my drum set at home. It is. I don't have a really expensive drum set right now. I put like Evan's heads on mine and it sounds great and I like it, but... I, I don't know if I've ever bought a brand new drum set. Oh, it's not true, I did one time. One time I bought a brand new Forum series and that was just, I didn't like it. It, um, it was metal to metal. You know, these little rubber things here uh, where the tom mounts are, it didn't even have those. It was really weird. I thought it just wasn't a very good, seri uh, very good kit. I started with a Pearl Export years ago and I still like Pearl. There you go, same thing. I'm gonna try to get them as far down as I can with my hands. It's not as far down as, I guess I should say it's, uh, I'm not being very clear on this part of it because I've never thought about trying to figure this out, but I don't, I'm not gonna try and wrench it really hard, man. I'm just to where it gets to where it stops. 
and I'm trying to make sure that's even with all of them. They're all that, the same way. And when they're brand new, it's easier to do that. I'm going to start on the P, and then I'll know that's my first one. Helps if I use the right side. There we go. This drum key is kind of cool because you can use it from both sides, but each side is different. It's a ratchet. I don't know when I would ever need to do that, but does that sound like a bass drum? What do you mean you don't know what a bass drum sounds like? It sounds like thud. That sounds like a waste. Melissa's a dancer, so she doesn't do a lot of drumming, but I'm guessing she has rhythm. This would be really cool to have here all the time, wouldn't it? You know what, maybe I'm gonna bring mine in. I have an extra kit that's a small one. That would be cool. All right, that feels pretty good to me because all I need to do is that, and that's all I'm gonna do right now. And now the question is, before you do this side, should we put something in here? Do we have a blanket? Where? Really? We're gonna go get a blanket. Um, I think I screwed up again, but uh, you know, this is just one of those things. It's a very symmetrical drum. There's a place for the bass drum, pedal on the bottom for the mount. Sorry, I showed the mount before. And I know that that goes on the bottom, but on the opposite side where it's completely symmetrical is the place for the, the tom mount. And I just realized that because of the way that they are and the way that the badges are, they're completely the same. But if you think about it, it doesn't make any sense for the badge to not be on top. So that is the top of it. Um, I just, all I did was I think I've got this backwards. If you look at the, uh, at the drum spurs, the drum spurs should be on the front as well, right? So if that's the case, then this is the front because the drum spurs should be over here. I keep saying spurs earlier. This is actually the spurs. Those should be the front of it, which means that this should be the head that we strike. And I think I've got this backwards, so give me a second. I'm going to flip this around and make sure that we do this right. So that means this one goes here, right? That one goes there. This I'm going to put over on the side. And that should sound great on camera when I do that. This I should put over on the side. Like I've just So looking inside the drum, I feel like one of these mounts is bigger than the other, and I can't really tell which one is which. I mean, they both probably fit in just fine. Oh wow, they both fit really well. So looking at the badge and the, and the spurs, I know that the spurs go on the front of the drum, so that's the, that's the bottom. And so this B, as I'm looking at it, I'm trying to figure out which side's up. It should be this way. That side's up. This goes in here. That's where your bass drum goes. And you can feel it. It feels actually like it fits right in there better. And that means that this funky looking hoop should go here, right? And that way the bass drum has space. And that's what that's for. This part looks like it's a little bit off, but yeah, that works. This needs to be loosened and then moved over. Okay, now to, to deaden the drum, because most people don't want drums that just go, especially your bass drum, your bass drum should be pretty dead. I would use a super kick. I really like those. Uh, Aquarian makes one, and I can't, believe, I can't remember who else makes one. I think Evans has one that's very similar. It's muffled on the inside. You don't need a pillow or anything like that. It used to be we always put a pillow in our drums or a towel. I actually brought in a towel. Oh, I have a towel here. Oh, it actually matches pretty well, too. Because of the batter head on the front of the drum, no one's going to see inside it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of this packing material. I'm just going to put it in here. And I'm just going to put it, like, right here. And that's going to deaden our drum a little bit. And then I can just pull the ends off of it. 
Um, this is not something I would normally use, but this is what we have here. So I'm just going to try it out and see how it goes. And if I have to fix this later, it's not a big deal. Still really cool though. It's fun doing this. I used to charge a hundred bucks for this. For putting together a drum set. It's a lot of work. Look how much time it's taken us to do this. And this is only four pieces. We still haven't played it yet. And we're not gonna because we don't have a bass drum at all. And I'm starting again on the P side so that I know where I started and where I end up. What's crooked? Do I know that this is crooked? Yeah, do you want me to fix that? It just looks weird. Um, yeah, it does a little. How's that? Is that better? Yeah. All right. All right, cool. So I went through it once. I'm going to do it one more time, I think. And again, you can see I'm not taking a lot of care in this. I'm just trying to get it on there. That sound good? Come in. And now I'm going to take these and I can just tear these off because this is just foam. And then you won't see this hanging out the side. You will see my hair that I got on there though. All right. Let's try this side and see if that makes sense. So now as we look at it, it should be like this. The badge is right on top. Um, I guess so you remember what kind of drum set you're playing. Let's try and line this up perfectly again. How's that look? Pretty good, pretty straight. So there's probably a way, I'm, I'm sure there's somebody that like comes in here with a T-square and does it, but I'm just eyeballing it. And I think we should be pretty good. Okay, so I am pretty much, I'm tightening it down basically as far as I can do with my fingers without like really going after it. And I'm not putting grease in here, people do that, but they're, they're already pre-greased I feel like. And usually it, it like spurts out, but this is done pretty well. All right, again, starting at the P, all the way around, I go opposite sides. If that didn't make any sense, it's, it's one, two, three, four, Five, six, I think is what I did. The whole idea is just to make it even again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that kind of makes sense to me. All right, let's try that. I feel like that's pretty good. Looks all right. Let's take off the plastic on these spurs, and I think we'll be good to kind of set it up now. Oh, we don't even have a snare stand. Oh my gosh, things that we should have thought of. There we go. I'm always trying to be careful around chrome. I don't want to mess this up, especially since it's brand new and it's not mine. Let's see, is that about right? I think that's even. Oh no, that's even. Okay, so you can actually see like little notches on here. I feel like that's not quite right. There we go. Okay, looking pretty good. All right, so if these don't look very spurish, don't, uh, don't forget, um, drum spurs are really cool because they work on a surface that is not carpet and then also on carpet big pointy thing. And you can kind of lock that down together, but I just put them all the way down. I'm going to do the same thing with both sides. Hopefully we're always going to be playing with this on carpet. 
So here we are with the bass drum spurs. And if you notice, there is a, I noticed there's a little notch right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And right next to it, there's a little dot. And you just line those two up and it falls right into perfect position. So as I'm rotating this around, um, that notch can line up with several things if you wanted it back here for some reason. Uh, but that is the place that it goes is right in that notch. And then when you tighten it down, everything lines up and everything's level. Tom mount. There we go. This is obviously in the wrong position. So let me fix that real quick. Put this where it goes. Memory locks are really cool. And I should have a tom right here with tape all over it. There we go. And that's our top. Again, I'm gonna adjust everything with the memory locks and it looks like it's a little bit high, but we'll figure it out. So I'm using the drum key and the tom mount tightener to actually get thing, everything lined up the way it's supposed to be. The only thing I got left are the tom legs. Roar. And then we need a snare stand. These are already tightened down, so you have to un undo them and then shove the legs in there. You get that all right? Yeah. Cool. I like O-rings. I like moon gel. Um, these are from the factory a little bit tight. I tuned this. Well, I didn't really tune it, but I put this one on, so I can only blame myself for that one. So that's it, all ready to go. And if I had the bass drum pedal, some cymbals, and some other stuff, I could just tune the whole thing up. I need a snare stand. I think that's it, right? All right, um, that was fun. It looks beautiful. I have to say, you know, now that I see it put together, maybe I do want one. I wasn't too sure about this color, but it's pretty cool. So there you go, Pro Midtown, all put together out of the box. And this is everything that comes in the box. Now this does come with an optional case as well, which I would totally get. So we might have to get that in the future. Thanks so much for joining me. If you made it to the end of the video, hey, you're really cool.